Okay, so today I want to teach you how to get your dog to stop doing certain household things that he shouldn't be doing. Maybe chewing up things, having accidents in the house, um, whatever it is that, that you don't like your dog to do. Well, the first thing you want to do is have in your mind the fact that you're going to have some positive things to go along with this, this negative teaching. If all you do is tell your child that he's doing wrong, he's never going to do what you want him to do right. You've got you to have both sides. Same thing with the dog. So you're going to have all this negative time. Make sure you have positive time to reinforce the things you do want him to do in the house. So, if you've got a couch that he always chews on, the cushions, you have shoes that he's chewing on, you have areas in the house that he's using the restroom, um, you're going to break him with that. But, when he does go to the restroom outside, or in a litter area, if that's what you, you choose, or if he does chew on something that he should chew on, then you need to reinforce that with positive treats or just telling him they're a good dog, something like that. So you have a dog like this and you catch him. You come in there and you see him chewing on the, the couch. You gotta go over to him, okay? This is not gonna hurt your dog. And you're gonna just say, no. And you're gonna just, just kind of lightly smack him on the, on the nose. You're not, you're not hurting him, you're not you're not beating your dog, you're just saying no and you're smacking him on the nose. Just a little bit, it'll sting, it doesn't take much, just a little smack, even with a little dog or a big dog. They understand that you're disappointed. It hurts their feelings. But here's the key. You cannot do this if he chewed it up a day ago. Okay? You've got to catch him in the act. That's the only way you're going to break your dog. Same thing if he's going to the restroom in the house or something like that. You need to catch him in the act. So you're going to have to have some patience. You're going to wait in the house for a while. You're going to see that he, oh, he's looking like he's going to go to the restroom. Well, hey, catch him doing wrong. Go over to him. Smack him in the nose. Say no. And then take him outside. Then, when he does go to the restroom outside you got to tell him he's the best dog. you got to make him feel like he just saved the world. 